There is also a culture of silence around men and boys. And I know you've done a lot of work um, in, in terms of protecting children from violence. When you look at the security situation we have in the country, loads, loads of children in IDP camps. I know you've done a lot of work within that area. What challenges are you facing reaching such children, boys in particular, that are also victims of this, many of them being sodomized, as, as we hear and saw in the statistics? How bad is it on, on the field for you? It's a very huge issue, and, and that's what we're dealing with generally. Anytime you actually have an emergency or you're dealing with a major crisis, um, one of the major manifestations of that are issues around sexual and gender-based violence. If you take for the Northeast, for instance, and the statistics shown earlier did indicate that the Northeast actually has one of, uh, one of the region with the highest cases, and that's actually not a surprise. In the last 11 years, uh, three very important states in that region have been going through very devastating crises that are actually related to protection. And that's why when I describe the crisis in the Northeast, I say it's a protection crisis that actually largely affects women. As of last year, more than 10,000 women had passed through Boko Haram in one way or the other. 10,000 in 10 years. It's unbelievable. And the level of abuse is totally unacceptable. So the crisis in the Northeast is a crisis that first affects women than any other person. If you talk about whether you are talking about the Chibo girls or you are referring to the issue in Dapchi or the women that have been individually, collectively picked, because many times we, we, we are horrified, of course, and we have right to feel that way about the Dapchi incidents or the Chibo incidents. But there are hundreds of other women that had been individually or collective law in group picked by this element, and we know what they went through. The Human Rights Watch reported last year that about 10,000 women may have gone through this particular issue, this particular situation. And this is what we are seeing with the cases of banditry or the cases of hazardous farmers' conflicts, and there are a series of reports around that. When you create violent conflicts, there's also room for this kind of situation that we are actually discussing today.